All right. Well, welcome back. Today we're celebrating National Pizza Day. Woo! -hoo! Yay! All right. <laughs> we took a poll on our Instagram page to find out where you love to get pizza in our area. Everyone pretty much loves pizza, I think. It's universal. So as you would expect, we ended up with a ton of responses. <laughs> yep. But he, we had so many that we're going to do top six picks times two. Very good. So here they go. Mm -hmm. They include Fire and Hops, Marco's, Eight and a Half, uh, Chianti, uh, New York Slice, Roma's, The Hop, Brooklyn Pizza Authority, Mellow Mushroom, Zorch, and Dante's in Chesterfield. That's right. And so, gosh, we had to keep these up to soak them in, team. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite personal pizza. So this is one, and it's funny. It happens to be Christy Genova's family, Pizza Express mm -hmm. uh, in the West End. You guys have two locations? We one, have two. two locations. So this is in the West End. It's over there off of Quiacason. And we discovered it when the girls were over at Core Gymnastics and we would pick up a pizza and then we were hooked. And so that was awesome. And then you talk with other friends and they'll be like, yeah, my favorite place is out in this plaza on Quiacason. <laughs> exactly. Like, you mean Pizza Express? <laughs> so we stopped in this week and treated the team to a pizza party and just it's great stuff. But it's fun how everybody has their favorite spot. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, we have we share a lot of clientele between Pizza Express and Casa Italiana. And the big difference is, is that at Casa, we do grilled pizzas. Mm. So we're going to actually make one today. Love it. You ready? Love it, love it. All right. So I'm actually showing you how to do one at home by using, oh, this is oh, hot. It it's is ready hot. To go. Okay, she's proven. <laughs> it's, it's good. Um, so that you can always use a griddle at home. You can use your grill outside. It's something you can do all year long, and it's great to do with the kids. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get one stretch. Most important, if you make your own dough or if you buy dough, get it nice and floured when you go to stretch it out. If you don't, it's just going to stick everywhere, and it's not going to want to go. Christy, why does the flour look yellow? This is a fancy semolina. You can easily okay. buy semolina at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's our preference of what we would want to do use. Wow, look so, at her go. You are rolling. It's well, not our first our, is, Exactly. <laughs> we've been we've been tossing dough since we were uh, 14 and 15, to be honest. So we got crust, all right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on here, mm -hmm. and we're just going to nice and brown it, and then we're going to do a partial on the top. Now, Jessica, I okay. brought one for you, because I know how much the girls love <laughs> pizza and pizza dough. So what you're going to do is I'd like you to push here, okay. make yourself a little bit of a ring, and then go for it. Okay. Push, All right. Push, 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 push. Exactly. You're going to keep pushing. Now, with the casa, we do it straight up on our grill. Okay? So what we have is if you want to do it on oh, your, on your grill outside or yeah. your indoor grill, do cross hatches, one on the top. All right. All right. So nice. Look at that. She's look going. At, she's going for it. Yeah. I, love I picked it. up the tw the twirl trick. I'm not sure she, she was going to make it a heart shape, but no, she's, <laughs> she's, she's going for consistent. it. She's going for it. So you can see here on the bottom, already we're starting. starting already starting to get some color to Oops. it, which is great. Mm -hmm. nope. Don't worry. No one's going to tell. Just go ahead and put okay. it back together. Now on this side, once we have the partial going, mm -hmm. right? The, it's partially cooked. We're going to take a little bit of our house marinara sauce, our house pomodoro, spread that nice and evenly throughout. Now, with this, we like to put fresh mozzarella, again, everything, as you know, made in-house for us. So we're going to do a little fresh mozzarella. You can slice it like you see on these ones here, or we can just go ahead, we can tear it, rip it up, and just little dollops. You can kind of have fun with it. The great Whichever thing is... Whichever way you prefer. It's going to melt down into it anyway, Exactly. Right? It's yeah. going to melt. It's going to be yummy. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead, put some of this here. All right, I'm going to do a little bit more because who doesn't love cheese? Exactly. Who doesn't love it? All right, I'm also then going to check over here. Take mm -hmm. a look. Oh, oh come look, at, look at what's happening. All right. Now just so a little bit on the, on the flip side. We're going to do a little bit on the flip side. And again, that way from there, we're going to go onto a tray and we can go into the oven. Now this one, we're gonna go ahead and go into the oven. Okay. All right, so, and with the magic of television, we oh. have one that we started on the break. All right, and the reason we started one on break is so, so that we make- So we could get her done. <laughs> exactly, yeah. you wanna make sure that you get a chance to taste it. So, we're gonna go from here with our prosciutto pizza. So we have our mozzarella, our tomato sauce, which you saw us put on. We're gonna take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, Lace it on the top, mm -hmm. all right? We're gonna cut it. Now, normally at the restaurant, we cut it into six slices. You can cut it however big or small, depending on who's eating it. 
You know, it's funny, at the restaurant, Jessica, we're open lunch and dinner seven days a week, and a lot of people don't realize that. But if you want to come have our pizzas, you got to come join us from lunch. That mm. menu, 11 to 3 daily. And so when you put the olive oil on, was mm -hmm. that, does that have a purpose other than to get the taste, or does the olive oil help with the slicing, or just... It was not, not the slicing. It helps just accent the flavor. You want to just bring it, the freshness okay. back out again, and okay. who doesn't love a really nice extra virgin olive oil? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go through because prosciutto, thinly sliced this morning, just f nice small pieces nice. so that you can thin. have watering. Yeah. Nice and paper thin, that's really important. And the great part is, is by doing the pizza base first, this is just nice and it's gonna warm through, not get too chewy. What I'm curious about, Chris, oh, you can do it without I can do it flipper. with my fingers, Ooh. look at that. Look at so, that. Those see, this one fingers. got a little bit more on this mm -hmm. side, so we're gonna use this as our bottom now. Okay. And our other side is we'll be able to put some toppings on that one as well. We're gonna go a little bit of arugula. We're gonna do a little bit of Chez Parmesan cheese. Mm. Mm. Do you find, Christy, that folks are, who are coming in to enjoy the pizzas, the grilled peaches at lunch, pizzas at lunchtime, have like go for the same one every time? Oh, absolutely, everybody has their favorite. You know, the margarita pizza, classic standard. We have a pesto pizza, so we have just a nice extra virgin olive oil and mozzarella base. We even do white pizzas, one that we used to serve and uh, we still get people who come back two years later and go, I still want this. Yes. We have this bechamel and mushroom pizza mm -hmm. accented with a little truffle oil. Yeah. So, and then you can create your own. If you're just, you want your pepperoni pizza, you're gonna get your pepperoni pizza. That's just whatever you want. We're gonna make sure it happens. Now, we like to do just a little bit more oil on top. Why not? And while you two get to try. Ooh la la. So that was my question. Do these pieces, you don't have to stick it back in with the prosciutto and all the goodness. No, because oh, what you want is that you. prosciutto nice and soft mm. still. Oh. I know once I eat this, it's, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to, okay. I ready. got a little teeny piece. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike somebody, oh. the biggest piece she could oh. find. <laughs> she, she took yeah. the big one. She went straight for it. Now, you see how quick that was on here? I'm just mm. starting the next pizza for the team. Mm. Mm. Oh, my. That's yeah? A, the mm. arugula do the boogalooga. I mean, <laughs> that was good. Mm. <laughs> brings a little bit of pepperiness. Everything has a flavor that it just brings and accents to it. I mean, we're making pizzas all day long. You at home, you can make the crust, slightly cook them, and you put them in the fridge, and the kids can make them for a snack after school the next day. Um, they'll last in there for you. You're gonna stay here. You didn't know that yet, and you're gonna. We're gonna check back in yeah. with you in just a few minutes. In the meantime, okay. Incredible. <laughs> Still chewing. Going to do this since you're chewing there. <laughs> okay. Thanks for being here, Christy. Go back in. Be back <laughs> to learn more about Christy and Pizza Express, and we'll uh, leave the links on our website at virginiathismorning.com. Mm. We'll be right back.